recently on one of my previous videos on how to develop a contact model, I was asked how you can determine the area of contact between two solids. So in this case, this pin and this bent beam. And it's actually quite simple, so I'll just show you how to do this. You have to go into the model, and under History Output Requests, just edit the history output. And under Contact, if you switch on CA or EA, so Total Area in Contact, and if you want to just make sure that it's every n increments where n equals 1 and just accept that it'll add onto the ODB file the information that you require to determine the area of contact between this object and this object or any object in contact in fact so then with that enabled when you run your model just go into results and now I'll just open up the correct one here okay that's the ODB file I was looking at if we go into XY data double click that and just like the ODB history output hit continue and now here are the four areas of contact so that's because we have four pins here so they each have their own surface area which is in contact and the four of them are here so I'll go into one of them the first one hit plot and now we can see here the amount of the surface area that's in contact over the full step time so we can see that it increases sharply at first and then increases further and then slightly decreases as loading continues and you can do the same with the other pins and some of them will have different profiles depending on where they are along the span length so we'll just dismiss that and if you right click on the XY data you can see the XY data here for the step and the area and you can export that to Excel and plot it there if you prefer and it's just important to note there that the area is also in the units that you specified for the particular model and uh, that's the simple solution to that problem